Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 17th of 2024 is titled Total Eclipse and Comets. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the total solar eclipse that occurred just a little over a week ago on April the 8th. And you see the object there a little bit to the right of center is uh, both the sun and the moon. The moon in front blocking out the light of the sun and the glare of the sun around it. And there we're seeing the outer atmosphere or corona of the sun only visible during an eclipse when the rest of the face of the sun is blocked out. However, that was not the only thing visible in the sky at this time. In fact, other objects were visible as well, including a couple of planets. And here we note to the right the planet Venus, uh, very prominent off there to the right hand side, one of the brightest object we see, in fact, other than the sun. And the planet Mercury, much harder to find there. Mercury, one of the hardest planets to be able to pick out, simply because it is not that bright and it's always very close to the sun in the sky. So in this case, we are currently seeing Venus in the morning sky, that Venus would rise a little bit before the sun in the morning and be visible there. Now it's quickly fading into the sun and then will switch to becoming the evening star this summer. Mercury, on the other hand, is, would currently be visible after sunset, although it's so close to the sun right now, you would really not be able to pick it out. By the time you get the sun far enough below the horizon for Mercury to be bright enough to be seen, it will also have set. Now the other thing that we note here are two comets. One to the far left is Comet 12P, and that's the comet known as Pons Brooks. And we've looked at that a number of times over the past month or two. And it is a comet that was visible during the eclipse, but not near as bright as it was hoped that it could be. So it did not end up standing out during the eclipse, which we hoped that it might be visible. Certainly it was still there and we can see the image of it here to the left and then the inset of it up above where we can see the greenish coma and a tail stretching back toward the right hand side. Now the other comet there very close to the sun very hard to pick out is comet Soho 5008. And that you can see is labeled there and you can see the dot of it very close to the sun in fact much closer in this image than Mercury is. And we can see the inset image of the comet with its tail stretching out toward the left as well. Now note that of course the comets are going to have tails that point away from the sun. So that tells us a little bit about their positioning there. Now, now the Soho comet actually disintegrated. It passed too close to the sun, and that is what destroys many comets. If they have orbits that take them too close to the sun, the intense heat and energy of the sun will simply completely vaporize the small comets, and nothing will be left. So it's those comets that actually get close enough to the sun, but also keep their distance, that become the most prominent ones that we can see in the sky. So here we see the eclipse of April the 8th, along with two planets, Mercury and Venus, as well as two comets visible in the sky while the sun was being eclipsed by the moon. So that was our picture of the day for April 17th of 2024. It was titled Total Eclipse and Comets. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.